Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde, has tweeted out saying that he and the Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis from the BJP met with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi last night. He said that the decision to fight the upcoming elections, remember Maharashtra is going to be seeing both the civic body polls and of course the Lok Sabha polls. He said a decision to fight the upcoming elections together was taken in the meeting. Remember the other points of discussion according to a lot of the flurry surrounding these meetings was A, the long pending cabinet expansion uh, and of course the question of a seat sharing formula between the Shinde Lad Sena and the BJP for the civic body and the Lok Sabha polls. Now, you might remember that speculations have remained rife for a while now that there was a need for a cabinet expansion in the state. There is also the Shinde Lad Sena's continuing demand for a ministerial birth within the union government of the country. So those are thought to be some of the different conversations that took place. Now, we'll focus on them in just a second. But uh, my colleague Vinaya is with us right now to bring us context on this entire set of issues. Uh, Vinaya, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Vinaya, we know that the Shinde Fadnavis government is reaching close to that one-year mark of being in power in the state. Tell us more about the meeting that took place a few hours ago. Uh, well, we know that a meeting did take place between Chief Minister uh, Eknath Shinde, Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and Union Home Minister Amit Shah. This meeting took place in Delhi late last night. Uh, while uh, both the CM as well as the DCM evaded detailed questions on uh, what exactly was the agenda for the meeting, they've said that uh, the primary discussion was about both the parties fighting the upcoming elections together. But clearly at a time when there have been long long speculations about uh, the cabinet expansion and about uh, what will be the strategy that, that will be taken up by the government here, this meeting was extremely crucial. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, unofficially sources say that there was discussion about the cabinet expansion, which has been long pending, uh, there is a likelihood that, uh, uh, you know, uh, with uh, the vision of Mission 45 in mind, uh, certain leaders will be given further opportunities and maybe those who have not been effective as such till now uh, will likely be shown the door. In any case, we are seeing that the Shinde group has been having a lot of difficulties, uh, especially with uh, dissenting MLAs who have not yet been accommodated in the cabinet when there are several cabinet posts that are still available. Several of them have uh, openly expressed their displeasure. In fact, just to few days ago, some of the leaders had also openly talked about how uh, they were receiving stepmotherly treatment by the BJP. The fact that the Shinde group has not yet been accommodated in the union cabinet, nor has the cabinet expansion happened in the state uh, where several uh, Shinde group MLAs have been lobbying in order to get the cabinet vote. Uh, is clearly an issue that was discussed, and that is why now uh, unofficially sources say that it is un it is likely that within the coming fortnight, cabinet expansion may take place. So by around 18th or 19th June, as such, uh, there may be a cabinet expansion where uh, the form formula of equal seat distribution between both the Shinde faction as well as uh, the BJP is likely to be taken up. In any case, several MLAs from uh, the Shinde camp are expecting uh, to get accommodated. Some women may also be accommodated in this. So the buzz right now is that the okay. discussion that did take place and there was possibly a green signal from Delhi back to you. Vinaya, thank you for that context. On your screens, you can see Eknath Shinde, the uh, Chief Minister of Maharashtra. And on the right side of your screens, you can see the Union Home Minister Amit Shah, remember the context of all of this is the delicate arrangement between the Eknath Shinde led aspect of the Shiv Sena and of course the BJP, an arrangement that only came into place last July when you remember the Shiv Sena saw a vertical split with a number of MLAs and MPs leaving Uddhav Thakre and joining Eknath Shinde as he claimed power within the state. You remember all of this played out in front of the Supreme Court. Uh, a few weeks ago, where the Supreme Court said that while it did not appreciate the manner in which uh, the Eknath Shinde-led faction of the Shiv Sena came into power, it could not do anything about it. Now, we're going to show you on your screens visuals. The visuals you can see on your left side, Union Home Minister Amit Shah in the centre, Eknath Shinde, the Chief Minister. And on the right side, the former Chief Minister and the current Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra from the BJP, 
Devendra Fadnavis, all three of them sitting on our screens with us. Let's go over to my colleague Vinaya right now to understand more. Vinaya, uh, can you tell us the long-standing demand that the Eknath Shinde-led Shiv Sena has had that they should have a minister in the union government? Was that addressed yesterday? Uh, well, right now we are hearing that both the issues with respect to accommodation of some faces in the union cabinet as well as uh, the expansion of state cabinet were discussed, but there is no clarity as yet as to when that union expansion, uh, union cabinet expansion will take place and when opportunity will be given. In any case, for the past few months, we have been hearing that at least two faces from the Ignat Shinde faction might get accommodated in the union cabinet. As of now, uh, you know, there is no official word on it as to who they will be. Uh, but clearly, that is one promise that has been given that at least one cabinet vote in the union will be given to them uh, clearly right now with several faces that are eyeing uh, both the centre as well as the state. That is something that is yet to be uh, announced, but clearly both of the issues with respect to union cabinet expansion as well as the state cabinet expansion uh, were discussed, but primarily we see that there is more and more dissatisfaction among the MLAs who want to get accommodated into the state cabinet because as we have seen that there are at least 22 cabinet votes in Maharashtra itself uh, which are still uh, empty and uh, which in which uh, uh, MLAs can be accommodated. And that is why that was a major focus because we are just a year away from the elections while there's uh, a concern from within the Shinde faction about the possibility of re-election because of the buzz that, uh, you know, after several surveys that have been internally conducted okay. by uh, all the parties, it, uh, at least before the election, some MLAs from the Shinde faction feel that they should get a... Uh, an opportunity to be in the ministerial position factory. Okay, all right. Vinaya, thank you for bringing us this context.